Welcome back to day five of the October Horror Challenge. I got in one film, and that is the film I wanted to revisit, World War Z, 2013, directed by Mark Forster, a German director. And this is Brad Pitt's uh, production company, Plan B. Basically, they bought the rights of the novel. Uh, and the, the, I guess the interesting thing about that was uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and, and Brad Pitt got into some kind of bidding war for the rights to the novel. But as it, as it turns out, Brad Pitt production company got it and he was the star of the film. It's, it's basically a big budget action zombie infection movie. Uh, and it's got, a, it's got a lot of great action, a lot of great sequences in it. But I, my problem with this film is the same problem I have with a lot of superhero films. And that is, when you have a big mega star, you don't have really any tension in the film because nothing's ever going to happen to Brad Pitt. Uh, you know, he goes through a series of situations where he's, you know, life is in danger, but you know he's never going to really die, so there's never really any tension. Having said that, I still think it's a pretty decent film, a lot of action, uh, you know, it's a big budget summer epic. It made, I think the budget was like $125 million and it made $500 million, so it did very well. Uh, I just think it would have, it probably would have been better had Brad Pitt not cast himself as the star of the film. Brad Pitt plays a UN investigator, and there's a zombie apocalypse going on. They're trying to, they're trying to track down the source of the infection, uh, uh, basically Patient Zero, the original source, and then they've got, they go to Israel and. India and all these different places to try to try to find a cure for the infection. It was shot in uh, Budapest. It took a long time to make it. It went through a lot of production delays. They started in 2011 and finished in 2013. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's a decent film. I give it a seven out of ten, probably a six and a half out of ten. I mean it's it's just you know it's just a kind of a turn your mind off and watch it. But again, it, it, it lacks any kind of sort of tension with Brad Pitt as the star. I think he'd, he'd have been much better served finding someone as the lead that was relatively unknown. You know, that, because then you, then you might have some concern about, well, is this guy going to make it through all this or not? Anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, let me know if you've seen this. It's a, I didn't watch the 3D version. It does have the 3D version. It's a three disc set, Blu-ray, DVD, and the 3D version. Anyway, let me know what you think of World War Z. Appreciate you watching.